shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Hi guys, my name is Anima and today we're going to be dealing with some classified information about the Prescotts. We know from an old letter in the bunker that while the Prescotts haven't always been so influential, they have a history of wanting to make other people's lives hell. Present day Prescotts own most of Arcadia Bay and this is substantiated by various NPCs accounts and the Prescott Dormitory. Come on Logan, bring it bro! Owning Blackwell affords a lot of leniency with Nathan, allowing him to be impervious to discipline and letting him maintain a Scott free record while behaving like a chronic douche. So we know the Prescotts have a firm grip over Blackwell, but what other projects could be cooking in their sinister kitchen? Pan Estates is a Prescott development that invites you to live in the woods. There are flyers about it in the diner and strangely, blueprints in David's stash. It remains consistently present as it exists in both timelines we've seen. Joyce works there in the alternate reality. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. This could easily be just another something that the Prescotts own, but there's something else that warrants our attention. Sean's email. It states, I need you to be calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. Furthermore, the email goes on to talk about the Prescott destiny and says that Arcadia Bay is going to get an enema, enema, an enema? How do I say that? Is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. From analyzing this email, we can surmise that Sean knows Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Since he talked about this and Pan Estates in the same paragraph, we can propose that these two are linked. Prescott Development invites you to live in Pan Estates. Why not Prescott Estates? The use of the name Pan seems very deliberate. Pan? Pan is the Greek god of the wild, of nature, and of shepherds and flocks. He was depicted as half-human with the legs and horns of a goat. Pan was a pretty horny bugger in every aspect of the word and enjoyed trying to shag nymphs. So this guy is the god of shepherds and of nature. Also, he lived in Arcadia. Hey, wait, haven't we heard that word before? I think it's interesting that Pan lived in Arcadia and Life is Strange is set in Arcadia Bay. Let's examine Pan's Arcadia. In mythology, Arcadia is some sort of paradise, said to be an idyllic vision of unspoiled, harmonious wilderness. Free from corruption, it is a place that is at peace with nature. Conversely, the Arcadia Bay that we know is being directly threatened by an unstoppable force of nature, a storm. Sean Prescott's letter indicates that Arcadia Bay will get an enema, en enema, enema, en enema, no, enema, savage, and a new brand. This could be interpreted to mean that the bay will be purged and brought back to nature. Sean seems to have made deliberate use of Pan in relation to Arcadia and may have an interest in shepherding away worthy individuals to the estates where they will be protected from the storm. As an extra thing to note, there is a Latin phrase that goes et in Arcadia ego, I'm sorry if I'm completely butchering that, I probably am, which roughly translates to even in Arcadia, there am I. The I refers to death, and the expression supposedly means that even in paradise, somewhere as beautiful as Arcadia, there is death. This is pretty interesting, and I'm not 100% sure what to make of it, but it did remind me of something. On Victoria's board, at the start of episode 3, are the words, Wherever you go, there I am. The phrasing has an uncanny resemblance to the Arcadia ego line, don't you think? Finally, let's have another look at Pan Estates blueprints. I don't know much about architecture, but I do know that these things right here represent lockers. Could Sean Prescott be trying to create another Blackwell? What is Pan Estates? Who are the Prescotts? What are their goals and do they know about the storm? At this point, I'm starting to think, yes, they do, they totally do, but this is all just speculation. 
That's all from me for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, as that is so extremely motivating for me to see. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments, it's really fun to speculate. Check out my playthrough of episodes 3 and 4 right here, or start from the very beginning! Subscribe for more content from yours truly, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye bye